Hey, well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we start getting into this next episode, I do want to kind of forewarn you. Um, I'm putting in these forms right here. And just so you know, each one of those forms on the very first build was incorrectly put in. I don't um, really kind of figure it out until I finally get... Uh, to where I'm putting in the strip in. I do have a picture of them in correctly on the second one, but for some reason I didn't go back and reshoot um, tearing them out and putting them back in. It was disappointing, yes, uh, but you know it also comes back to making sure that you read the, the directions correctly, which uh, in that very first build I didn't. So go ahead and watch and they do ask for them to be put in increments of 12 inches and make sure you do that now one of the ways that i ended up on the second build which of course i don't have anything on that is that what i ended up doing was you glue these in which really made it nice now the thing was i spent so much time on the first one trying to get them in straight well they were backwards for one thing uh, front to back, back to uh, stern, stern to bow, bow to stern. Uh, but then the second part, you know, your your hull is going to flex a little bit. So what I ended up doing is I took scraps from what I had um, from the um, the slats, and I just kind of moved them in a little bit, started gluing them, and as you can tell by these. Uh, that they just sat right in that hole. Um, I didn't really didn't have to worry about positioning them uh, or or even making changes to it. So take your time, make sure you've got what you need uh, in the hall, and make sure that they're 12 inch on center. Uh, because I'm going to have to do a little work on the very first one because the hole which you sit in is actually shifted back, and I need to move it forward. That's not a big deal. It is wood, but uh, that um, combing that's going to be around there is going to be a little different. So thank you very much for watching the episode today. Make sure you use the thumbs up, uh, turn your post notifications on, and subscribe. Hey, well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I haven't... Uh, actually, it's a little late in the day. It's about 2 o'clock Eastern, and one of the things that I started doing is I needed more room in here and as you can probably tell uh, I have a lot more room so one of the things that I did is I actually built um, a new roller set of yeah, I guess it's a sawhorse a rolling sawhorse uh, I went over to Harbor Freight and you know you're looking at rollers and they have these thousand pound little dollies and I bought Two of those, and those were only uh, like nine dollars a piece. And then from the two by fours that I had left over, um, I would just went ahead and and kind of cut those up. I only used three of them, and I tried to look at this from the height that I wanted it. So that's what I ended up doing. I did um, also come over here, and I don't know if you remember how this was not level. Uh, this uh, actually was up a little high and so what I ended up doing was just taking a um, jigsaw just trimming that down and sanding that out now I have taken and sanded out the sides here I did not go in and um, I need to sand about with uh, an 80 or a 120 or something uh, pretty heavy the, uh, the underside of the hull and the reason for that I mean that'll be epoxied a number of other times and then also varnished so that'll get really smooth but the biggest thing is just protecting it right now uh, everything else is looking pretty good I've got a lot of the the hard edges off of it because I was noticing I'd come out here and I'd be bleeding all over the place because the fiberglass was so uh, sharp so one of the things that I ended up doing was just kind of going through and kind of doing that um, also you can kind of see some of the drips on the inside. I'm not quite sure how much I'll take care of those, um, especially with the top being over. You may not see it, but you know I may know that it's there, so I may take care of it. I do really believe on the underside of the hull that I'm going to paint it. 
although my Instagram pictures look really good and probably some of these look really good, if you really look at it, it's not. Um, and a couple things that I've kind of found so that when I can, when I build this next boat, I actually put some reverse sides, and so I may have the same problem on on the other boat. But you know, you you put um, when you're putting the these two sections together, one side, which is the outside, will stay clear. The inside, uh, you're actually putting a, a little bit of filler in that that kind of clouds it a little bit, and plus you're also putting the uh, the three inch tape on there too that you're burying. So it's not as clear. And you probably would have had that on the other side. I'm gonna sand those down really well on the other ones when I start that. So what I'm gonna do today is I've got all of the forms that are gonna line up in here. Because what we're gonna end up doing is once we get all the forms in, then I'm gonna roll some uh, some plastic on top of that and so that we can start doing our our planks on this uh, I'll probably get so far on this and then I'll start on the other one because the other one's sitting in the other uh, in the garage but um, I will have enough room in here to put two in here at least to store them but I'm already looking at different ways to one store them on the outside of the barn um, that's going to be a good place in the summer but then also I'm gonna build um, some racks inside the garage. Not sure where, whether I'm gonna take and put them up in the air or not, but uh, we'll kind of work through that. But I'm just gonna take and put these forms in. They say to put them in every six inches and I'm just gonna kind of lay them out and kind of go from there. And then once I kind of have them in, then what we'll end up doing is hot gluing those in. So we were off to the races. got where all of them are set at, but some of these are going to be more difficult to put in than the others, because look at this. Now this could either mean that I am that bad at putting this together, which could be. I mean, I did, that was left open. May be able to put that, we'll find a way to get it in there. If not, we'll come in here and we'll trim and we'll make it, we'll make it fit. We'll make it fit one way or the other. Uh, the one thing I need to kind of figure out is how are these set? You know, we'll come in and bevel those edges. I think that'll be good. But are they to be set straight up and down? I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I'm gonna go in and get a hot glue gun and see what we can start putting together.
Hey, welcome back to the channel. And it's been a little while since I've actually done any work. However, uh, a couple things that kind of did, uh, I think the, in the last episode, we were kind of showing the, uh, putting on all of the, the molds and getting ready to put down some center lines. Well, I actually took all that up because <laughs> what I found out was that uh, you know, you should read. I think that's the biggest thing is always read your plans first. Is that it is supposed to go up in this area. So the thing that I found is that I couldn't get these forms exactly, you know, the 12 inches. So it's going to be a little different on the second um, boat that I do. But, you know, we're living and learning the dream here. So what I did after kind of looking at it, is with this area right here going up, if the waves crash in or any water comes in, it's going to shed away. The other way, it was actually, you know, kind of sleek, and so it probably would have rolled into the into where you're going to sit. So I took those all out and I put them back in. I've got my center line once again, once again, and what I'll end up doing is start. Um, uh, putting in the the slats from there. However, the one thing that I did do is I started on my wife's boat, and I've got that to the point where it's stitched. I'm getting ready to come in here and you know kind of commit to the the shape. So I'm going to start really coming in here and kind of kind of tightening things up and make sure everything is working correctly uh, before. Um, we go any further the one thing this weekend is really cold i got up and it was 42 now for some of you out there that live in colder areas that's probably no big deal but in september in indiana that's it's it's pretty cold so one of the things that i wanted to do was um, definitely come out here and do a little work on the boat and make sure that next weekend I'll end up fiberglassing it to, you know, where I get it to the point like it is here. And then I think that what I'll just do is just work on this one all winter. When I finish the top on this, I'll probably, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but uh, because it's going to be pretty fragile uh, when you take that, when you take the molds out or take the top off, uh, because the temperature may be pretty cool. Um, so we'll just kind of play that by ear. And it, that may be a spring thing. But I do want to get this one here far enough along so that I can fiberglass the inside and the outside and have it so that I could put it up and it would maintain its shape. So that's what I'm going to do today is just start working on getting this stitching correct. And I think probably next weekend that's probably when I will do the fiberglassing because I think I'm going to take some days off. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit that thumbs.